Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom. I hope you're having a great day. We are gonna to talk today about hydrogen bonding and I wanted to make this video for you because I know you are a little bit confused about which types of molecules can participate or cannot participate in hydrogen bonding. So I wanna begin by talking about first, which types of molecules can hydrogen bond. Second, I want to show you some examples of hydrogen bonding with the same substance, like just a single substance. And then I wanna show you some examples of hydrogen bonding with mixtures. So let's get started with who can make a hydrogen bond at all. And hydrogen bonds will form when you have a molecule that contains a nitrogen bonded to hydrogen, an oxygen bonded to hydrogen, or a fluorine molecule, sorry, fluorine atom bonded to hydrogen. And these are the only three elements, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, that are capable of participating in hydrogen bonding. And the reason is because of their very small size and very high electronegativity, it turns out that this dipole moment here, pointing towards the more electronegative atom, is very large. And so that makes this sort of a subset of dipole-dipole forces, but they are uniquely strong. And that's why we call them out as a separate thing, a hydrogen bond. So um, when we're looking at a molecule to decide if it's going to hydrogen bond, we have to decide does it contain one of these atoms, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, and also is that nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine bonded to a hydrogen? So let's look at a couple of examples. Um, the first one I'm gonna draw is hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide. Now this molecule has the nitrogen in there and it has a hydrogen, but you'll notice the hydrogen is not connected to the nitrogen. They're not actually bonded together. So this is an example of a molecule that cannot hydrogen bond. A molecule that can hydrogen bond is ammonia. Here the nitrogen is bonded to three different hydrogens and it also has a lone pair. So that is an example of a molecule that is really good at hydrogen bonding. With oxygen, it's a little bit tricky because there are a lot of functional groups in organic molecules that contain oxygen. So a classic one that we might see is like a methanol, CH3OH. And here you have the oxygen and the hydrogen bonded together. So that one is capable of participating in hydrogen bonding. But we could also have something like an ether where it, uh, the oxygen is there and the hydrogen is there, but they can't hydrogen bond because they're not connected together. So alcohols, yes. Ethers, no. Ammonia, yes. Hydrogen cyanide, no. Fluorine is pretty easy because the only molecule really where we're going to see hydrogen bonding is hydrofluoric acid, HF. Um, so that one is really easy. Fluorine doesn't tend to make multiple bonds, so the only way for it to be bonded there is like to be attached to the hydrogen. Okay, those are examples of molecules that do and do not hydrogen bond. Again, we're looking for nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, and they have to have a hydrogen that's actually attached to them. Now, I wanna do some examples of molecules that can hydrogen bond to themselves. So I'm going to take ammonia as an example. So I'm gonna just draw another molecule of ammonia here. And this molecule of ammonia is polar. Each of these bonds is polar. And the nitrogen will end up being a little bit negative and the hydrogens will be a little bit positive. So we use that delta symbol to show that's a partial positive charge or partial negative charge. Now, if there's another molecule of ammonia around, I'm going to erase these little guys because they're just going to clutter things up. If there's another molecule around of ammonia, then it will be attracted to 
the positive charge on our hydrogen and I'm going to use a dashed line to show our nitrogen and its lone pair on another molecule of ammonia. So notice that the positively charged hydrogen is attracted to the negatively charged nitrogen and vice versa. So that is an example of our hydrogen bond where we have this electrostatic attraction between the positive pole of a polar molecule and the negative pole of another molecule. Now if we were saying which atoms are involved in this hydrogen bond, sometimes we want to call out this specific arrangement where we have nitrogen covalently bonded to hydrogen right here and then that's our covalent bond and then we have the hydrogen bond here which of course is just an intermolecular force so these are transient they will form and break and form and break as these molecules slide past each other so this is an example of a molecule that's making a hydrogen bond to another molecule of the same type. When we ask you a question, often we'll give you a series of molecules and we'll say, which of these can hydrogen bond? And what we mean when we say that is, if I had a whole bunch of the same type of molecule, would they be able to hydrogen bond? And I want to do um, another example. This is acetone. I'm choosing this one because it does not hydrogen bond to itself, okay? You can tell me that this one does not hydrogen bond. I want you to look at the structure and I want you to tell me why it does not hydrogen bond to itself. I Pause the video here and double check why would this one not hydrogen bond. Now this molecule is polar, but you'll notice the oxygen is not covalently bonded to the hydrogens that are part of the molecule and therefore this one cannot hydrogen bond to itself. So if I give you a list of molecules and I ask you which of these can hydrogen bond, I want you to think about that molecule making a hydrogen bond with itself. In order to be able to make the hydrogen bond we have to have this arrangement like we have over here. The nitrogen covalently bonded to hydrogen, then the hydrogen bond, and then another nitrogen atom with its lone pair. Okay, now I do want to talk about this same molecule acetone because the other thing that we sometimes are going to ask you about is whether a molecule can hydrogen bond with water. And acetone is capable of hydrogen bonding with water, even though it can't hydrogen bond with itself. And the reason is it has this oxygen with lone pairs and that oxygen has a slight negative charge and if I have water molecules around, they are going to make the hydrogen bond. So again, if we look at this, we're going to see the oxygen covalently bonded to hydrogen, then the hydrogen bond, and then our oxygen with its lone pair on the other molecule. So that is sort of the structure of what that hydrogen bond is going to look like. And again, acetone, even though it can't hydrogen bond to itself because it doesn't have that oxygen covalently bonded to hydrogen, it can be a sort of receiver of hydrogen bonds from water or from other things that do have oxygen or nitrogen covalently bonded to hydrogen. So that summarizes our discussion of hydrogen bonds. I hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great day.